tour of select rooms in the Ard Godfrey House. The Ard Godfrey House was built in 1849 and has the distinction of being the oldest remaining wood frame house in Minneapolis. It was restored by the Women's Club of Minneapolis to its original appearance and has been open to the public for tours since 1979. The one and a half story house is built in the Greek Revival style, which was popular on the eastern seaboard during the mid 1800s. The house was originally located uh, less than two blocks east along the river. It is on the fifth site since then, having been moved to Shoot Square Park in 1909. In this video, we will take you on a tour of the parlor, sitting room, and the bedroom of one of the Godfrey children, Helen. The parlor was an important room, not only for the Godfrey family, but for the town of St. Anthony. The parlor was used for church meetings and social gatherings. The organization of the Cataract Masonic Lodge, the first in Minnesota, took place in the Godfrey Parlor. The parlor is the formal entertainment room of the house. It was where Mrs. Godfrey would entertain her lady friends and the minister, and not where the children would play. We have the parlor decorated as Helen, the 10-year-old daughter, remembered her mother doing. Therefore, we have touches of red in the valances and the tablecloth and the chairs. The wallpaper is a reproduction of the original wallpaper in the house. The ladies who were restoring the house found scraps of it behind a radiator and had it reproduced. We have a horsehair sofa, and horsehair was a commonly used material for furniture. Our pride object in this room is the Chickering Piano. It is a rosewood piano that the Godfrey family ordered from Boston for their daughter Helen to play. It cost a magnificent $300 back in 1850. It cost $27 to ship it. The sitting room is across from the parlor and is similar to how a family room would be used today. In this room, Harriet and her children would sew, read, and do homework. Welcome to the sitting room in the Art Godfrey House. We sort of refer to this as the family room of 1849. Mr. Godfrey had his desk here. He was also the postmaster, as well as running the lumber mill, the sawmill. On the desk, there's a strange looking light that's called a reed lamp and that's made from a reed that would be picked down by the water, soaked in fat, and could be burned from both ends. This is their clock, and it tells the date and the time. Helen described the settle there, which is a three-person settle, and the sewing basket, because women might have come here and done some sewing. We also have a shadow box over on the wall over here that was made up with things that were found in the house when it was restored. Also pictures of the Godfrey family, Mr. and Mrs. Godfrey with their children, and then pictures of one of the Godfrey's daughters, granddaughters, and great-granddaughters. The cards over on the table over there do not have numbers on them because you had to be able to count to play cards. They didn't tell you what they were. We left some things open so that you can look. Up above you can see in the ceiling there you can see some of the wooden pegs that were used to hold it together. And it's balloon architecture, which is no longer used because fire could go straight up. There was nothing to block it from one floor to the other. Behind me on the wall, you can see the lath. And if you look close into the plaster there, you can see little pieces of bone and hair. In the floor there, we've left the original subfloor boards there. And you can see how wide this area was all white pine. The house did not have fireplaces. It had wood-burning stoves. And these are all reconstructions, there, but they are the type that would have been used in the 1850s. On the upstairs level is Helen Godfrey's bedroom. This room was special to her because it was the first time she had her own room. Welcome to Helen's bedroom. Helen was 10 years old when they arrived here in St. Anthony. She and her brother, Abner, each had their own bedrooms, which was something very, very special in those days, especially coming to the frontier like this. 
She was fortunate to have a nice, comfortable bed here in her room. And the blue chest is what they arrived here in St. Anthony with all their goods, which entailed just a little bit of clothing, some blankets, and some jars of jam. And in the blue chest, there was also a doll, which is reminiscent of the doll that Helen brought with her. She snuck in there, which her mom told her she couldn't bring toys. We go around the room and we see a washstand, and this is a children's washstand. That was very important in each of the bedrooms. She had a little bench here, and this was the type of closet she would have had to hang her dresses in. Around here we have a little tea set, and over in the corner there we have a little chest of drawers, which very likely may have been a salesman sample. In those days, the salesman would bring samples of the furniture that could be made and then they would leave it at the end of the tour. There are other rooms to see in the Godfrey house, such as the kitchen, dining room, and three other bedrooms. Each room has been faithfully restored with authentic wall treatments, floor coverings, furniture, photographs, and decorations. We invite you to come to Shoot Square Park and experience an in-person tour and see how the Godfrey family lived in 1850. The Godfrey House is open to the public on Saturdays and Sundays in June, July, and August. For the most current information, please visit the website of the Women's Club of Minneapolis.